Welcome back to my channel. I have another outfits video for you guys today. Instead of doing a traditional revolve haul, I thought it'd be fun to style some of the pieces that I got this month and like actually show you guys outfits that I would wear. This is going to be like transitional into fall outfits. I have so many clothes to show you guys. Like, please hold. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like a new wardrobe. Not complaining, by the way. But I thought it'd be fun to kind of just show you guys how I personally would style some of this stuff. Um, just because that's what you guys are here for. You guys want to see that kind of thing. As always, everything that I'm wearing um, and showing you guys will be linked in the description box below. So, for starters, I'm going to show you what I am wearing right now. This is like the easiest, most basic outfit. You guys know I love a thrifted blazer. I am sweating. I'm switzing. But here is a Revolve item I have to show you guys. So this is a Lovers and Friends slip dress. And I'm clearly blurring out something. You can use your imagination. You could wear like a sticky bra to cover your nipples, obviously. But I just didn't because I would literally sweat them off right now. Like $68, I believe. All the sizes are available on the website right now. Sorry, intermission for me to brush my bangs because I'm sweating so much. By the way, if you guys follow me on Instagram, this is my bougie brush. Bougie brush. YouTube. YouTube bougie brush. I got this like a few months ago and it's the greatest thing in the, in the entire world. It's under $100, but it will change your life, I swear. Anyway, moving on. So I have my hair pulled back. Probably not how I would actually style this, but you know, I always get complaints about my hair being in the way. So it's pulled back. Don't you worry. And I have my Salehi Benbury um, New Balances on. These would This would just be like a typical, like I'm running to the mall type of outfit for me. Pro tip time. So I found these New Balances on Poshmark and they were a half of a size too small. And I actually learned from Complex's YouTube channel. Apparently, if you take out the insole of the shoe, if it's like a half size too small, your foot will likely fit in the sneaker. So if you're trying to find a sneaker and you can only find like half size too small, that will usually help you guys. So this is my first outfit. Normally I would have an orange bag with me, but it's still coming in the mail. And I just think that would tie this outfit together. So imagine orange bag, this outfit. Cute. Second outfit. So for this outfit, I have a full head to toe Revolve outfit on. I have this Lucademy blazer, which is stunning. I'm gonna show you guys how I style it in another way, but for now, this is the full set. I have Lucademy pants on. I love how these split at the bottom. I think that's so chic and just like such an Attico vibe. This NBD top on. You can see that this is like a white white and this is like a creamy ivory. Just like a fun play on a monochrome look. I think I'm going to style it with these Ego heels. Um, this is just like the easiest way. Cute bow oh, yeah. Um, these are like a Bottega dupe by the way. Okay, so we're just gonna lean into the full on white out look. So this is what this is what I came up with. I'm sweating. So I have these old Versace sunglasses that I've had for like three years. I have my Fendi baguette. I don't know. I just think it's so chic and perfect for the fall. This is outfit number two. How did I do? So I wanted to show you guys how I am planning on styling this if I go to New York with Caitlyn. We're kind of hoping to go to New York for like around the same time as Fashion Week just for funsies. And this outfit just screams like dinner in New York to me. I don't know. I know I'll sweat my balls off, but that is okay. When has it ever stopped me? Never. Like like Amina Mawadi type of heel I think would look stunning. And I don't have a bag to show you guys that I would wear with it because I don't know what type of heel I would wear. I have the same blazer on that I was talking about before. This is expensive. I'm not even going to deny that. It's also from Revolve Academy. Um, I paired it with this bralette. bralette on that I've had for months now. Um, it's from Lovers and Friends and it actually matches these 
capri legging type situation. They're a little large. I should have sized down to a small, but I don't really care that much. These are from NAKD, and I think this is so cute and just so perfect for New York. Outfit three, imagine with me. Hello. Sorry, before I move on to the next outfit, I want to show you guys this swimsuit that I bought on Revolve. Um, just because I don't feel like trying it on. This is the cutest swimsuit. It's by the brand Andrea Ayama. Um, I got it in a medium. I got it for Vegas. They didn't send it to me. So good. The top, I'm going to put a picture on the screen how it looks on. And then this is the top. It's like a cup situation and this ruffle kind of goes around like your shoulders and it also comes in white so I'll link those in the description box for you guys below. This is outfit number four I believe and I can't find my bra also can't find my phone. I got this super down set let me show you I got it in a size medium. Um, it's like this thick knit material. Comes in a skirt and a cardigan, which is adorable. I am obsessed. And I wanted to show you guys how I would style it. This is like the first thing that came to mind. And it's just something very simple, which I was like, I feel like I need some more simplicity after the last two outfits were a little extra. So I have my zebra baguette that we all die over as a collective whole. This is my first Fendi baguette. Um, I've got these jeans on, which, funny story. So I loved these jeans so much, I got them in two sizes. So this is a 28. They're like a little loose. I just dried them, so they're like a little tight right now, but they'll eventually like get a little loose. But this is the size 27, and these ones are like a little bit tighter, um, but I wanted more like of a looser fit on top, so this is 27, and I paired it with my Ghani cowboy boots, because cowboy boots are huge for fall, winter. Um, these ones I love so much. They're a little small, which sucks. But I still think this is just like a cute casual outfit. I wish you guys could feel how soft this is. I have it fully buttoned. It would look a lot better if my boobs were higher because um, that would be meaning I was wearing a bra, but I'm not. So <laughs> super casual, super cute. Yay! No one asked, but here is the skirt! Um, the skirt is actually really cute. It's a lot cuter than I expected to be on. A lot of zebra print, but I think it could be a moment. Outfit number... I'm like actually kind of catching breath as I figure this out. Four? Five? Outfit number five! So, I am wearing low-rise jeans. Never thought I'd see the day, baby. I'm so excited about it. I've spent the past year of my life overanalyzing my body. We're not doing that anymore. If we want to wear a fun trend, fucking wear that fun trend. So for example, low rise jeans. These are from Girlfriend Denim and they are the best low rise jeans I've ever put on my body. I'm shook, I love the shade of them. I love exactly how they fit. It, there's just like nothing I don't love about these jeans. I think I think these are called the Bella jeans. I have it paired with my favorite, favorite tank top, you guys. This is from Revolve as well, but I've had it for months. It's from Hours. It's like 50 bucks. It's the best tank top I have ever had. I'm obsessed with it. I have it in two or three colors. It's in stock now. Um, it was on pre-order for the longest time, but last I checked, it's still available. I have it paired with my Dodgers green hat, which makes no sense because Dodgers are blue. My Bottega green basic bitch bag, which I fucking love. And then I have these Adidas Velcro shoes, you guys. Return of the freaking Velcro. We are returning with Velcro and low rise jeans. Great transitional outfit because obviously tank tops, it's gonna be hot until like October here in Nashville. So this is like perfect. For reference, I'm wearing a size 27 um, and I'm obsessed. Like if you wanna try low rise jean 
this is your sign because look at me, I'm a freaking model. I'm as skinny as a needle. Out of five. Outfit number six from Revolve is this hours, I think, or it's NBD, either one, jumpsuit. I asked you guys on Instagram if I should get it and all of you said no. This is giving me Laquan Smith and I'm here for it. So I'm going to Vegas um, next week, which is very exciting. This to me is just a dinner outfit waiting to happen. It's so great. I should have gotten it in a size small, I think, but guys, why do I do this to myself? Let's talk about that. That's an issue in itself. I love the way I styled this for you guys. I've got this Zara um, pouch bag. It's so cute. And then I have these Ego shoes. They're like the Attico. So uncomfortable, but so cute. But I don't know. I think it's Halloween, bitch. I will step up the earring game if I end up wearing this in Vegas because I think like a big bold earring would look really cool, but for now, this is it. Okay, I honestly just threw outfit number seven. Is this outfit seven? I don't know. Seven or eight together, and I actually kind of love. It is this Song of Style set. Um, it's a blazer with these like stirrup pants which are very interesting I don't own anything like this and I was like well I still have the orange heels up here why don't I play up some color with this set because the last time I styled a blazer set um, it was you know all white no bra again this time but I have my Orson Iris top I'm obsessed with it um, It'd be a lot cooler if I had my bra on right now, but I don't because I'm sweating in case you can't pick up on that. It gives me Regina George vibes, but whatever. And I just have this matching set, like I said, from Song of Style. The same bag and uh, shoes that I wore last time because of the orange in the top. Kind of all ties together. Be a lot cooler if I took the tag off too. This set is really cute. I love how long the blazer is, and it actually does kind of cinch you in a little bit more than all the other blazers I have does. Um, but I like how, like, when I pull back the blazer, the little pop of like the boob detail pops out. So I don't know. I think it's like chic in a fun way. I need some sunglasses. I just don't have any up here. Just imagine I have some on. And that is outfit seven or eight. It's now the second day of me filming this and I'm back. So this is outfit number eight, I believe. I wish I had like a really cool pair of brown boots. Like I'll put a pair of like what I mean on the screen because I feel like that would look so much better than what I'm wearing right now. But whatever, this works too, I guess. I'm just wearing these Air Force Ones, which I don't love Air Force Ones. I, I bought these for the Styling Trends You Hate video because I don't like Air Force Ones and I never wore them. So, actually I wore these to Broadway and they got puked on, so, not breaking. But for this outfit, I have this Song of Style top on. They actually sent me a small when I ordered a medium, but it's fine. I've got my Colonial ponytail. You guys, if you know, you know. Are you on that side of TikTok or is that just me? Obsessed with this top. I wish... You know, it wasn't pulling at the final two buttons. That's on having big boobs. It's really cute. This is one of my favorite, like, white statement tops I think I've ever gotten, to be completely honest. Like I said, should have got a medium. Um, I've got my Stodd bag that Cody got me for our anniversary years and years and years ago. So I'm wearing that. I've got very basic jewelry on from Miranda Fry. Use code Sarah for 10% off. And then I have my... Brooklyn, I think is what they're called, high-waisted denim from Girlfriend. So this is all head-to-toe revolve, well, minus the bag and the shoes and the vintage Fendi sunglasses. Ponytails from 1776. I just wish I had the right kind of shoes. What do we think? Cute. Outfit number nine is a total cop-out, you guys. White shirt, 
denim one. This one's on sale right now by Song of Style. I think it looks kind of cool with a low rise jean because you can kind of get the back. You know what I'm saying? I have my Miller Lite hat. I had to style my Miller Lite hat. Actually, it's Cody's Miller Lite hat, but we can pretend it's mine. They're like low, but they're not like super low, you know? And I always get questions like, what kind of bra am I wearing? I'm wearing sticky boobs, just like the kind you just stick on there. Not the best for support because they're really old, but whatever. <laughs> Same jewelry as before. This bag looks like a steering wheel. What do we think about the back? Business in the front, party in the back. I got these Bella jeans in a size 27. This shirt's a medium. Love these jeans, iffy on the shirt, but still part of the haul. This part is not a outfit, but I need to show you guys this top. Um, I don't feel like styling it right now just because I've done so many white tops, but this is from Super Down. Um, I'm pretty sure it's like under $50, you guys. Do you see this? Iconic. Also, don't judge how bad I tanned my back. It's really bad. Do you see this? It's like a chain. I'm like impressed. And the way it just like drapes, it's kind of hot. It comes in black too. Outfit number nine. So we are at the second to last outfit and I am styling this Lacademy white top. I think it's so cute. However, I need better sticky boobs for this. Um, mine are like not doing its work. So there's that. Gucci vibes from head to toe, but just with the accessories. I've got my Gucci loafers on, which you guys so politely call my nun shoes. You guys are so silly. Sunglasses on, and then I've got this mini Gucci bag that I bought on eBay months ago. I bought it um, in the summertime waiting for fall because I just think it's like the perfect fall bag. I love the reverse. I like this because like from the front it looks so like, I don't know, professional almost even though I've got like these huge cutouts and my side boob is raging minus that. What is that? What is that? The only other thing I have on that I haven't talked about are my nasty gal pants. I think these are sold out, if not I'll link them, but this is all about Revolve, and this is a Revolve top, and I love it. What do we think? I think this outfit's good. This, I think this is one of my best. If my boobs were cooperating, of course. If my boobs were cooperating, I need some like fashion tape, I think. If my shirt would stay like this, I would be unstoppable. She's ready for fall! I forgot to end this video, so I'm ending it now in bed on a rainy Saturday. Um, so if you liked it, subscribe, check out all the links in the description box below. And until next time, goodbye.